Welcome to I Am Best Reviews YouTube channel. We're so happy you stopped by today to check out our new review video. Today we're going to take a look at springtime flowers around the world. We're going to fly to Japan for the cherry blossoms, Holland for the tulips, Belgium for bluebells, Wales for daisies, Italy for wisteria, and back to the U.S. to check out roses. So relax, get comfortable, and enjoy watching the rest of the video. Let's head for Asia and check out the cherry blossoms in Japan. They bloom from late April to early May. The cherry blossom flower is a symbol of spring. It's a time to revitalize oneself. It's called Sakura. And the tiny pink flowers are most cherished with the blossoms found in all aspects of Japanese culture, from film to poetry and even paintings. The Japanese like to have cherry blossom parties with friends and families. They enjoy celebrating and eating delicious food. This is called the tradition of Hanami, which means watching blossoms. At night after work and school, they love to enjoy the beautiful cherry blossoms in an eye-catching lovely arena. Couples go out at night to enjoy the romantic food with the cherry blossoms create, but it only lasts like two weeks, like in D.C. Next, let's head for the Netherlands and check out the tulips. The flowers bloom throughout Holland. The tulips are generally large, showy, and brightly colored. The most eye-catching colors of tulips are red, pink, yellow, or white. Actually, the tulip is a member of the lily family, and there are literally 75 species of tulips. The tulips arrived in Turkey from Iran, Afghanistan, and Kazakhstan in the 1500s, and the sultans would stick a tulip in their turban. In 1550, the palace gardens of the sultan were filled with beautiful tulips. One nobleman from Flanders was given a tulip, and he gave it to another friend who was in charge of the emperor of Austria's herb garden. The friend moved from Austria to the Netherlands in the 16th century to teach at the University of Leiden, where he was also in charge of the university's herb garden. He had brought the tulips with him. He tended to and studied the beautiful flowers. One day a tulip bulb was stolen from his garden from a Dutch trader, and that's the story of how the tulip became so popular in Holland. Ten color varieties exist. White, cream, yellow, red, pink, purple, violet, orange, salmon, green, and a mixed category that includes brown, black, bronze, and maroon. The meaning of tulips is perfect and deep love. They bloom in Holland from mid-April to early May. Next, let's visit Belgium's bluebells from mid-April to May. Near central Belgium, Hallerbos, also known as the Blue Forest, is covered in blue and purple in mid-April during bluebell season. You can reach the forest by bike or bus. It looks like it's in the middle of a fairy tale book and it's dense carpet of blue and violet flowers. The foggy days give the forest a mysterious fairy tale feeling. It's a beauty to behold. Bluebells are often used to call in fairies. If you rang a bluebell, it would summon a fairy to you. Bluebell flowers are dainty flowers that provide a burst of color, ranging from deep purple to pink, whites, and blues. They represent gratitude and humility. Next, we're going to visit the daisies in Wales. Skomer Island, which is located just a couple miles off of the coast of Wales, is known both for its puffin birds and its many beautiful wildflowers. In the spring, the tiny island is covered with daisies, bluebells, and sea thrift, which is evergreen with clusters of pink or lavender or white flowers growing atop of slender stalks that rise above the foliage and it slowly spreads. What a sight against the backdrop of the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the puffin birds from April through August on Skomer Island and wildflowers are at their peak at the end of May. The bluebell meaning is humility, gratitude, and everlasting love, and daisies symbolize innocence and purity. Wisteria grows all over Italy in April. It looks like a fairy tale world. It actually takes your breath away just to see the blossoming wisterias that elegantly flame houses, windows, and climb up walls and fences. 
or you may even want to watch its beauty reflected against a lake or a river. And then some just enjoy walking in a wisteria garden. The meaning of wisteria is love, sensuality, support, bliss, and tenderness. But like the cherry blossoms, only lasts around two weeks in April every year. Now we're going to take a look at the rose. Although it's popular in many countries, in 1986, President Ronald Reagan signed legislation to make it the national floral emblem of the USA. Roses have a long, colorful history. They have been symbols of beauty, love, war, and even politics. There are 150 species of the rose. They've been used as confetti for cosmetics and even for perfume. Let's start by looking at the different colors of roses and their meanings. White roses originated in Asia but soon spread throughout the world. They represent purity, innocence, and everlasting love. The ivory rose represents charm, thoughtfulness, and gratefulness along with richness and perfection. Give it to someone to let them know that you care. Yellow roses represent friendship, joy, and caring, as well as delight, gladness, and affection. They can be used to say good luck, welcome back, or remember me. They're perfect to give a close friend or someone who needs to be cheered up. The peach rose is sweet. It has a meaning of modesty, genuineness, sincerity, and gratitude. It's a great rose to give to someone to say thank you. Great gift to close a business deal. The orange rose is bold and fiery. It means desire, fascination, and energy. It can also say I'm proud of you. It's great to give a graduate or when someone does something that makes you really proud. The pink rose stands for femininity elegance, refinement, and sweetness. A hot pink rose means gratitude, appreciation, or recognition, or it can say thank you. A light pink rose shows grace, gentleness, joy, and happiness. Red roses stand for passion, true love, romance, and desire. They're great for Valentine's Day. A deep red rose means you're ready for commitment and have a deep passion for that person. If you want to tell someone you love them, then give them deep red roses. The lavender rose is a unique rose. They're very stunning. They symbolize enchantment, wonder, splendor, and mystery, as well as love at first sight. If you have someone who caught your attention or grabbed your heart, this may be the perfect rose color to send to them. The green rose is the color of living, abundant growth, the renewal of life and energy. It can symbolize richness, abundance, and money. When you want to surprise a person, why not give them a green rose? Blue roses represent mystery, the impossible, unattainable. Give these to someone who you think is wonderful and unique. They're great to give to an independent woman. The black rose is a mysterious bloom that can convey many meanings. We think of black as being synonymous with death and mourning, but black roses do have a more positive meaning as well. They can stand for the beginning of new things and major change. Black roses can inspire confidence by signaling the birth of a new era and can bring hope and courage. Then there's multicolored roses. A yellow rose with a red tip can mean friendship or I'm falling in love with you. A pink and white rose can say thank you to a good friend. And multicolored roses are just so beautiful. Thank you so much for stopping by I Am Best Reviews YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and stop back later to check out new review videos. Have a beautiful spring. Enjoy the flowers wherever you may live and stop back later to check out a new review video. May you and yours be happy, healthy, enjoy life this spring and summer. And thank you so much again for stopping by.